Meteorologist Scott Dorvell with the Idaho News 6 forecast. Well, a line of showers and some thunderstorms pushed through the region this afternoon after the rain this morning had one loud crack of thunder and it set off a car alarm in southwest Boise where I am. And so it was jolting, but that's all we heard. Uh, also got a report from uh, our meteorologist Rachel Garceau said she spotted a funnel cloud as that was approaching from the west, one of those cold air funnels. Uh, it, that system moved on through, and it's pushing through Boise now. We still have rain falling, but it's brightening. Let's take a look at downtown Boise on our uh, Grove Hotel camera. I'm looking now over downtown. You see all the rain on the uh, lens there. We had snow and soft tail and all kinds of things occurring uh, as this line came on uh, through the region. Temperature-wise, we're at 42 degrees. Oh, it's just damp and chilly out there. Yeah, but we're drying out to the west right now. Here's a view from the village at Meridian and uh, drier conditions, even a sunshine trying to poke on through there just a little bit. And that should be the case here as we continue to see some isolated showers just to our west. In fact, I should say isolated to scattered, but they'll tend to die down as the sun goes down. Uh, let's take a look at what the National Weather Service showed this morning. It was rain. Time last few shows all the rain. It was a, a soaker for a bit at 900. And then uh, we got some blue skies. That was nice. And then all of a sudden the skies darkened and that line came through again with some more heavy rain. Now, the updated rainfall amount hasn't come in yet, so that 0.09 will be adding on to that. Current temperature in Boise now, here we go, 37 degrees. I knew it was colder than that, and it this updates on the fly. And so, yeah, I've seen 37 degrees at 5.03 and at 5.09 with moderate rain coming down. And so, yeah, that's pretty cold. It's March, and it's cold outside. 52 in Ontario. You see how it's warmed up nicely to the west there. Doppler radar shows Boise just beginning to end with the rain. Drier to the west. All that heavy rain in southeast Boise uh, towards Barber Park. That's going to continue to slide to the south and to the east. You see the direction of the Get Ready Mountain Home. Some showers, maybe a thunderstorm, but the real heavy rain is going to go uh, along I-84 for a while and eventually go north of I-84. Still some scattered showers behind, so we still have a chance for a few more. There's some thunderstorms mixed in there, but drier weather comes in overnight tonight skies clearing on out but the wind is going to whip up tomorrow and it's going to be colder so a blustery cold day likely tomorrow but notice how all of that stuff you just saw on the map there the clouds the precipitation is gone tomorrow lots of sunshine you'll think hey it's nice but that wind will be noticeable it will be chilly going ahead to wednesday we'll have a cold morning and then cloud cover comes in so that's going to make it a pretty chilly day and there's still going to be a breeze around so some chilly weather much of the week even some new snow look at this snow coming in on wednesday night into thursday ski resorts doing well for spring break holding not spring-like temperatures that's for sure and maybe even some snow uh, shower Hours in Boise on Thursday morning. Could even get a coating. It's not out of the question. And then, of course, it just melts fairly quickly. Here's the outdoor exercise forecast for tomorrow. A pour in the morning and because of the cold, and then the wind makes it kind of just fair in the afternoon. Nothing real pleasant for outdoor activities tomorrow, but it'll be okay. A lot of sunshine out there, so if you like the sunshine, you'll have that. We will hit the mid-50s tomorrow, but that wind will be biting at times. 35-mile-an-hour gusts during the afternoon, so definitely we'll see uh, some chilly uh, conditions because of that breeze. 51 in Garden Valley, and take a look at what's happening in the West Central Mountains. A cold day, only 40 in McCall, 17 for the low temperature. Had some snow in the ski resorts, four inches at Brundage Mountain, and a Tamarack like you're seeing similar numbers as well. Snow showers could continue for a time tomorrow in the Central Mountains. Here's my extended forecast. Sunshine tomorrow, but it will be windy, and that's going to make it feel cold, especially east of Boise. Nicer weather to the west. Actually, it'd be a pretty decent day, Canyon County westward. A very chilly day on Wednesday. Snow showers Thursday morning, and then we start the warm-up. 65 to 68, maybe 65 to 70 Saturday and Sunday. Don, nice change coming into the weekend after what we have this week. Good timing. All right. Thanks.